The first thing I would say is that if you're dealing with someone who's depressed and they're really depressed, you should try giving them antidepressants. How do you differentiate the utility of behavioral slash psychotherapeutic treatments for conditions like depression versus medical treatments? Okay, so the first thing I would say is don't underestimate the utility of medical interventions. Depression is a cat catastrophe. Antidepressants help a lot of people and there are technical reasons why that's the case. If you're in a depressive state and it's severe, you can try an antidepressant. You'll know in a month if it works. If it works, well, maybe it'll help you get your life together. Sometimes people have their lives in order as much as you could expect anyone to have, but sometimes people are depressed. Their life is just, it isn't fine because no one's life is fine. Everyone's life is a tragedy. Lots of the time you see people who are suffering with depression, for example. There's a multitude of reasons, but I'll take one common reason. Well, one of the things that you often see with people who suffer from depression is that people who don't have enough order in their life tend to get overwhelmed. Sometimes, too, you're dealing with people whose lives are so wrecked that they don't even know where to start. If someone comes into me and see, to see me and they say they're depressed, I always ask them a very standard set of questions. Uh, do you have a job? If you don't have a job, you're really in trouble in our society. First of all, you, your biological rhythms tend to go off the rails right away because there's no reason to go to bed at any particular time and there's no reason to get up. And for many people, if they don't get up at the same time, they follow up the functioning of their circadian rhythms and that's enough to make them depressed right off the bat, especially if they start napping during the afternoon. They don't, also don't have a purpose. People aren't good without a purpose. For example, they finish their PhD thesis and their presupposition is that they're going to be elated for a month and often instead they're actually depressed and they think, oh, what? hell, I've been working on this for seven years and I handed it in and what do I do now? And, and that's what depresses them, right? It's the what do I do now? So if you don't have a job, you got no structure, that's not good. Plus, you tend not to have a point. So you're overwhelmed by chaotic lack of structure and you don't have any positive emotion. Well, do you have any friends? So sometimes you see people who are depressed, they have no job, they have no friends, they have no intimate relationship, they have an additional health problem. So one of the things I tell people who are depressed is like, don't sacrifice your stability get a job even if it's not the job you exactly want get a damn job you need a job find some friends get out in the dating circuit see if you can establish an intimate relationship what, what I would recommend instead is that you ask yourself what you're willing to do it's a really effective technique it's like a meditative technique so for example you can get up in the morning and you can think well you know I'd like to have a good day today so I'd like to go to bed tonight without feeling guilty because I you know didn't do some things I said I was gonna do and I you know I'd like to have kind of an interesting day so you gotta fulfill my responsibilities and I wanna you know enjoy the day you have to act the thing out before you can start to believe it I mean people always assume they have to believe and then act but but that's sometimes that's true and lots of times it isn't assuming you want to get better there's usually something you can figure out that would constitute a step towards some sort of concrete goal and my presumption, it's a behavioral presumption fundamentally, is that small accruing gains that repeat are unbelievably powerful. So, you know, in, this is another thing to know about in your own life. All you have to do is do it. But then you have to decide if you want to do it. It matters what you do. It means that the decisions you make are important. It matters what you do.